good. Good. Mm -hmm. Just that. Oh, good. you look very good. I mean, just look at your outfit. Now oh, that's better. <laughs> Going to work? Yeah, I'll see you when I get back. All right, David. Take care. Bye. Okay, make sure you get all the documents on the contract, ready, okay? Oh, you got it. All right, good. I'll be there in five minutes. Yes, definitely. Yes. No, that is the best software package I have for you. See, it will be more than your company to me. Trust me too. Okay? Um, alright then. I'm about to send you one of my technicians and uh, both of you will get talking. Um, I mean, set up on uh, time frame, yeah? It's okay. Um, call me if there's anything, okay? Yes, yeah, great talking to you too. Sorry. Okay, like this. So, how is my best sales rep doing? I'm alright. Just, I'm alright. How about we get in our early today? We need to push it. Push it. I'm not pushing it. I just thought to ask. So what did the doctor say? The good news is, two weeks of medications, okay. I'll be okay. No ulcer operations. And the bad news? I'll have to stay at home for two weeks. I hope this doesn't screw up my commissions. <laughs> Carol. Carol, can you at least take a break? I mean, you work virtually 12 hours in a day. You're always traveling every week, I every... I know. Uh -uh. But then it's just going to be two long and boring weeks. And so tell me, how did the CIM meeting go? Any hope? Well, I should say there should be. I'm talking about the king You look very good today. My shit. Thank you very much. Thanks for the compliments. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and you ain't looking bad too. <laughs> so, so uh, you don't have to push it all to see. That's what I want to see from your smile. Stop flying me. Have you considered applying for the teaching job? Uh, I don't think so. You know my baby is on the way. It's so? just a few months. You can still walk. Jason wants me to be a stay-at-home wife. And I already agreed to that. You could change your mind. I know I can, but... But I'm not ready to. Carol, I have a great husband. A beautiful home and a baby on the way. Am I going to ruin all of that? Okay, okay. I am not going to ask you that question again. What I am going to ask is, if and when you need a babysitter. Mm. Now we are talking. <laughs> now we have a deal. Yes, it could be twins. 
So Jojo, is there any time frame? Yeah. Uday's our company. Yeah. Next week Tuesday. I will be handling it myself. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate this. Thank you. No problem. What? Nothing. Just admiring your looks. You look like you are on top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am on top of the world. I mean, I have the best woman as a wife. Um, a good home, very beautiful house. A lovely family and a successful business, you know, and um, Yeah, I we, have everything. We thank God for that. We thank God. <laughs> Hello. Me? Yeah, you know that doing sexy guy you name it. <laughs> yeah, right. So what do you want? I'm a real estate baby, I'll be a little late. Late, right? Yeah, I've got to go out to meet a customer, but it won't be too long. <sighs> Alright, it's fine. I'll just make dinner later. No, don't do that. I'll tell you too No. I want to wait for you. Okay? Okay. Thanks. See you later, babe. Love you. And I love you too. Love, love, love you. <laughs> Bye. See you later. So I want you to give a uh your file on CIM to Debbie. I wanted to start the process of getting the very file ready. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I really I really want them to make sure they get the uh, contract by tomorrow. No problem. So are you free for the rest of the afternoon? No. I have an appointment. Where? Excuse me, sir. I thought you might want to go through this message. Just give me Good afternoon, Apex Computers Company. Um, this is Amanda Benjamin. How are you? I'm just fine, Amanda. How are you doing? I'm um, pretty good. I'm um, pretty as Jason around. Sorry, he's out of the building. Um, I don't know where he went to, but I tried to find out from Devon. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's fine. I'm, I'm sure I can wait till tonight. I heard him mention something about Bungalow building. Um, you're not helping anyway. Oh, yeah. Sure, it helps. Thank you. Hi, Carol. Yeah, I'm fine. Please, can you come to the house? Okay, I'll be waiting. Thank you. Hey, Amanda, what's up? I'm good. Well, since it's such a beautiful day and you said you're feeling better, I was hoping maybe you would love to take a ride with me to the bungalow. It's just half an hour from here. Oh, I did love to. But I have a meeting I'll be attending in the next 15 minutes. It's okay. I'll take you another time then. 
But this one you're going up there, this is my first time of ever hearing you mention the bungalow. Well, I just have a feeling Jason might be there checking it out for renovations. Mm -hmm. And if I'm right, I would just surprise him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me just go get ready. Okay. okay.
Can you come to the house right now? Ah! Ah, please, right now! You'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Oh, the baby, the baby. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Don't worry, you'll be I'm fine. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I want to bleed it. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, let me take you to the hospital, okay? Let me take you to the hospital. Go get my trousers in the room. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, please, hurry up. My baby. Have you called your husband? I don't know where he is, I don't know. <laughs> hurry up, please, hurry up!
Lost my, my, my wife. My wife, she was brought here a while ago. Uh, her name is Amanda Benjamin. Amanda Benjamin? Yes, yes. And you are? Uh, uh, her, her husband, Jason Benjamin. Jason, Jason, Jason Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, oh, look, I'm Dr. Chinene. Oh, thank you very much. I am, I am Jason Benjamin. Uh, my, 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 my wife, my, my wife was brought here. She, she's pregnant. Uh, how is she? It's okay. Amanda had a miscarriage. Yes. We did a BRC on her. She's resting now, okay? How, Doctor? How did it happen? How? <laughs> just calm down. She'll be fine. She's oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I just see my wife, please? I, 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 I just want to see her, please. Calm down. Just calm down. Maybe I'm here now, okay? Everything is going to be fine, but just have we lost the baby. But I promise you everything will be fine. You're going to be alright, okay? I'm sorry. She, she's just sleeping, is it okay? Yeah, Mr. Benjamin. Amanda. Amanda. Okay. It's okay, Mr. Benjamin. Don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? You know, some people are just more sensitive to Anastasia. But just stay with her, I'll be back. It's okay. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want something or you want me to get to something? No. No. <sighs> Babe. The doctor said we should just stop. Just stop it. No, you don't want to say it or you don't want yes. to. Yes. You're right. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any of it. I can't. Jeffrey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm alright. Ah, mm. uh, truth is, um, Amanda is really um, being pretty hard on herself. Uh, I, I would have allowed you to come in, but um, I. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. I just want to give you this. For her. Thank you very much. You I believe she's going to love it. Of course she Seriously, will. Seriously, she will. <laughs> Ah, uh, she will have to talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. It, it's fine, but don't go too hard on yourself, okay? Just give her some time. I believe she'll be all right. Okay? It's okay. 
Have a nice day. You too. Even though we've been married for only a short time, it's been mostly unhappy, distance. You know I had a miscarriage recently. Caro, I, I don't think there's any reason for us to be together. I'm seriously considering a divorce. I am so sorry for all you passed through. But are you sure you want a divorce? Yes. And you are certain you don't want anything from him because you are entitled to something. I do not want anything from Jason. Nothing. Well, I guess you both need to sort out your differences before you proceed with the divorce. Clara, there is absolutely nothing to sort out. I'm, I'm tired. I'm seriously considering this divorce. I... I can't. I'm tired. You know you are my very good friend. And if you should ask for any advice, I would advise you to try and sort things out with him. Just give him a chance. Can I share from a cigarette? Sure. I thought you quit. Yeah, I did. Amanda had a miscarriage. What? Oh, no. I am really sorry, man. I didn't know you guys were expecting. Yeah. She never wanted me to tell. Yeah. I see. So how is she doing? She's all right. She's fine. <sighs> we'll have to try again after some couple of months. I understand. Yeah. It is never too late. Never too late. Yeah. And but this time we'll be lucky, you know. Of course. <laughs> The letter is ready for your signature, then I'll take it through to Holland with you. Jason? Jason? Oh, oh. The letter, it's ready.
this time. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'm just checking out to know when you're going to be free. Of course, you know I do have your itinerary on my phone. So let's see. Hmm. Aha! Bingo! You're free. So. Of course you should know. Tell me, where and how do you want it? Hey. Up to this time, he's not yet back. Hi babe, it's me. Sorry I have to go out tonight. Meeting a customer for dinner. Hope you're having a good day. See you later. Love you. Please make sure to have everything ready for our meeting with Vincent Tobichuko on the 22nd at 10 a.m.
Tell me what's the problem. Listen. Okay, talk to me. Talk to me and I promise I will solve your problem. You will have to. You will have to handle the Tobe and the Vincent for me, okay? Handle? No. Jason, they just got in here. Besides, Debbie is taking them to the conference room now. How? You know what you're going to do? You go straight to them and tell them that then I had to leave because I had an emergency. An emergency? Yes. Oh, succeed. <laughs> you just have to go get George, okay? Get George and put a few shoes to handle the meeting. I trust you guys. I know and you know the things you can hide, okay? Things you don't need to understand. Make sure you do that. Because yes. I am, I am begging you. Yeah, uh, every, every material is set. I, Everything I, is ready. I, 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 I really can't do that. Please go! 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 Okay, yeah. um, I'll do this. I'll do this. Just uh, take a deep breath. Rita, you can do this. And... Just come on, do it. Go! Okay, yeah. Uh, Rita, just um. Just, just go. Uh, okay, take a deep breath and. Okay. Don't take no deep breath and get out from me. Yes, we do. Go, go, go! Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll. I'll. I'll just... <laughs> Cairo, thanks for the offer. I appreciate it. got back. That's strange. Yes. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Honey, what's the matter? What is it? Nothing, I think it's a um, flu or something. Hey, you like eyes. What happened? Do you want me to call the doctor? No. No, don't call him, no, please. Huh? Are you sure? Look at your body. I said I'll be fine, please. I'm going to be alright. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let, let me fix you something, eh? Mm. Hey, sorry. I don't want anything, please. I don't want anything. No. You will get dehydrated. Don't, don't. 
It's just custard. Just have some. Sit up. Sit up. Don't, 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 don't. I don't want you to catch it. Yes. I'm not don't going you. to catch anything. Um, were you able to meet up with your meeting with Vicente and Toby Chukum? I can't believe this. This is the most important meeting of the year and this is happening. Sorry. I, don't, I never get sick, I don't know. I know. But just come and have some custard. Okay, just drop it, I'll take it, I'll take it later, please. You're sure you take it? Yes, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I'll just leave it here. Okay? I know. Feeling better? <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't get back to the meeting yesterday. So I hope you and Joe didn't have any problem running the meeting yesterday. No. Good. And everything went well? Well, as far as I know. Although Mr. Chidi didn't seem pleased that you weren't there. <sighs> okay, you know what? So why don't I take you out for lunch so you fill me in on everything that happened? Come on. I'll make it worth a while for you. Okay. God. I will count on that. Sure you should. Good morning, Mom. Amanda, how are you and Jason? Ah, everyone is crying. We're great. Doing well. And how's everything over there? Your dad and I will be going to Canada. Oh, wow, that's great. I'm sure you will have a great time there. I'm sure we will. How is your morning sickness, Amanda? Are you over that now? Yes, it's, it's over. So everything is going smoothly then? Uh, yeah, everything is fine. Perfect. I can't say how much I'm looking forward to being a grandmother. Um, Mom, I am sorry I have to cut you short, but my friend just came in and I'll call you later. To. What? I'll try to get through this. I hope you do.
how about my order? Miss Link is ready. The vena has been taken out. You can be sure it won't cost any harm. Great. I'll be awaiting delivery. I was already on my way to the office, I mean, for the meeting. And then, halfway driving, I now started feeling something creeping on my legs. I... A snake. What? Yes, uh, a snake. A snake? I, 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 I believe it was from that bungalow. Obviously, yes. I so much believe it's from that bungalow. Uh, it, it, it crept into my suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
go away. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now the way you just said bungalow yesterday. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> you are deaf. <laughs> was wrong. I had an accident today. What? Wait, are, are you alright? Are I, you okay? I am fine. I'm, I'm alright. Are you sure? Yes, I am. What happened? I swabbed into your pool. I had to rent a car for a while. Is it that bad? Totally bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. <laughs> just that the Kaiser is just a year old. Yeah. You no. Know. But you're fine, right? You, you're not hurt anywhere. You're good? Okay. She won't be in. She won't be in. Did she tell her why she won't come? No, but she'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, even if she calls, just uh, tell her I came looking for her. Okay? She just called me on my line. Alright, please don't forget. Okay? Have a nice day. How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. Oh, it's fine. Uh, I bet Jason is keeping you busy. Yeah, sure. And how are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I'm fine. I see. Uh. So, um, are you just coming or going? Oh, no. I am coming. You know, I was in the area and I thought I could take Jason out for lunch, but... I didn't meet him. I guess he's in a meeting, right? Um, maybe. What about Nancy? Did Nancy, she know? Nancy, uh, no, I didn't meet her at her desk. Okay, in that case, I will find Jason and have him call you. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I just thought I could, you know, take a chance, that's all. It's fine. It's, it's no, no big deal. It's yeah. no problem. Uh, um, so, I... Sorry. <laughs> Do... Don't worry. Wow. Looks heavy. 
what? looks like you have the whole world in here, including your kitchen sink. <laughs> well, oh. my wife does same too. Oh, right. Um, well, I will have to leave now. It's okay. Yeah, bye. All right. think I can pull up with this your nonsense, then you're out of your mind. As I clear, in fact, you're fired. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda. What do you want? Why is it teddy bear? I put it away. You put it away? Why? You threw it away. Why is it that you don't want to have anything to do with babies? Why? The doctor said we could still try. Look, I do not, I do not want to talk about this. Because it seems like all you care about is trying to have a baby. Oh yes! Babies, because I want my own babies. Amanda, the doctor said we could still try again. I'm going to see my parent. So you say that you want a new mother, right? I'm talking about the problem. Now. Just, just, now. Um, so, would you like to say that? Um, no. I'll have to call you back sometime. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Jason? You want to fight me? Will you just shut up? Will you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm going to get you severe and at the same time I'm going to give you a recommendation you don't have anything to do with this company anymore, is that clear? I can't believe you. I can't believe you. Just, just, I am sick and tired of your nonsense. I can't put up with it anymore. Is that clear? I'm listening to me, Rit. If you try to cross my path, I will make life a living nightmare for you. Don't you dare threaten me. Now just remember this. Understand? Do you understand? Yes. Good. Now,
So, just personally, we begin the installation in two weeks' time. Yeah, as soon as you're ready, Mr. Chief. Excellent. This way, all the training will be finished before the summer vacation. Agreed, Bookie? Oh, yeah. The timing is perfect. So then, let us uh, <laughs> go for lunch, uh, alright? Um, sorry, Jansen. I'm due in court in an hour. But I'm certainly glad you made it to our meeting this time. So, Judy, I gave apologies. Alright? Apologies. But if you need anything, anything, just go straight. Call me directly. Alright? Definitely, I will. Thank you very much. And, um, Bucky, are you available for lunch? Oh, yeah. Of course, yes. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Mr. Judy, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, thank you. this whole thing, yeah? So, you attended Covenant University. That was quite impressive. I hope that's not the only thing that impresses you about me. No. Good. So, you tell me, have I impressed you in any way? Oh, it's, um, it's too early. <laughs> of course you have. Hmm? Except for one small thing. What's that? This spot of service. <laughs> okay, I can see you know how to take care of your clients very well. Well, I enjoy taking charge of situation. But some men finds that so intimidating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so does. Is that why you're not married? No. I don't need a husband. Just like this, right? Jason, you're a bad guy. <laughs> No, actually, actually, I uh, would have gone straight to the restaurant, if not due to the uh, hold up. So at least let's just stay here, take some bottles, and then we'll go for lunch. Instead of lunch, we'll now make it dinner. It's okay. It's all right. No, 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 let me do it for you. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. So tell me, how many of these can you go? Don't worry, I'll tell you about that later. Interesting. Yeah. I am so sorry I haven't been able to see you all this well. Don't be silly, baby. At least I am happy you feel much better. You know, Jason had another one of his late nights. So I decided to go see a movie. I mean, what would I do? I beg. Mm. I never knew about that. If I did, I would have invited you over for a dinner with my co-workers. Even though it wasn't going to be that exciting. But then... Mm. Uh, it's fine, trust me. Mm -hmm. Let me get you something to drink. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> I cannot believe what just happened to Jason. How is that even possible? My dear, he has been devastating. I mean, I've never seen him like that. Even when I had a miscarriage. Amanda, trust me he was. Just that you two already have things going wrong recently. It's more than recent. What do you mean? 
Karo. Our marriage isn't as great as it seems. It's fine. It's okay. Come on, it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for everything. I only came to sympathize with you. Thank you. Try not to think about it too much. It's not me, it's my husband, but I'm sure he'll he'll be fine. He will. So thank you so much for coming. You're welcome, baby. So let me get going, okay? Take good care of yourself, baby girl. <laughs> thank you so much. Alright, bye. Ah. That serves him right. He thinks he owns the world. Hmm? I intentionally burnt that office. Yes. <laughs> I haven't even started. So tell me, how is Amanda dealing with all of this? Brother, she's cool. Better than I do. Mm. Nice to hear. Actually, it was good seeing her the other day. Where did you see her? Here, of course, at the parking lot. What did she say? Uh, it wasn't a problem at all. Actually, she came to take you out for lunch. Probably you were in a meeting, so she left to try back some other time. I, I, I never saw her. I guess she never mentioned running into me. She never did. I see. Oh. I'm just talking Nancy, Nancy said, before I let you go, okay, I just want to ask you something. Um, okay, Nancy, is she in or does she drop any message in the past few weeks? Okay, thank you. Thanks. I've decided to go ahead with the divorce. I have made up my mind, and there is no going back. Since that is what you want, since it's what you have decided to do, then so be it. You know, we all have different ideas when it comes to what marriage should look like. Well, since this is a case of irreconcilable differences, and you were certain you don't want anything from him, carrying you know over the divorce is not a big deal. It's not going to take time. Mm. 
I'll be moving to California to go be with my parents. That is a good idea, but I will miss you. Of course. I'll miss you too. <laughs> I feel like crying already. <laughs> Stop. Open the gate. <laughs> Do you know where Amanda is? No. Have you seen her today? Yes. Earlier on, but I don't know where she is now. Okay, well, where, where, where was she two days ago? She was with me. I mean, the whole night. No, when she came back from the movies, we had coffee before I left for my house. Did you see the movies? Yes. Did she go to the movies? Yes. Okay, good. So, um, when did you guys come back? When did you guys return from the movies? Jason, why are you When did she... Can, can you just answer me? Just give me a time. Time. Give me the time. When did she come back? I, I don't know. About 9.30. 9.30. Yeah. Please, do you know if she has been going in and out lately in the past week? Jason. Just answer me. Has she been going in and out? I don't know. I've not spoken with her lately. It's the only problem. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. Thank you. in the middle of you and Jason, what? But what? Jason called me and was asking after you. He seemed really upset. Why? Because he wants to know what you are up to this past week. And is that all? He asked if you've been going in and out recently. He, he just wants to find out what you've been doing. So what did you tell him? Mm, the truth, I hope I did not cause any problem. This is the one with the problem. I thought that much because I've never seen him in that kind of act. He was yelling at me and... Did, did, did he do anything to you? Like, did, did he touch you? 
No, Jason cannot do something like that. <sighs> Kara, he has a terrible anger. Oh yeah. my goodness. Has he ever hit you? No. Oh. But he scares me sometimes. Amanda! Amanda! Why are you screaming my name? What is it? I want answers. We're not leaving this room until I get the answers I need. And I need it. You don't have any right to. I have every right. Where were you on the night of the fire? I was with Carol. And before then? I went to see a movie. Why didn't you tell me you saw George at the parking lot? I forgot. Why didn't you lie to me? Lie about what? You got shut up. Don't play games with me. You never came into the building. Right? You know it. I did. Stop lying. When was the last time you visited a bungalow? time you visited a bungalow. When I saw you sleeping with Rita. I hope it was worth it. You slut. You knew all this well. That deflated my tires. Made me sick that I couldn't attend my meetings. 
It is you. Right? No. No. Supply and admit it. Admit it. It was you. And Sammy! <laughs> Then you went back and started a fire in the building. It was you. Admit it. You know, you are the most selfish and deceitful man ever. I trusted you. I gave up everything for you. Everything. And what do I get? Betrayal. Lies. Cheat. And what do you want to do with that? What do you want to do with that? Nothing. Nothing. Well, well, if you're so sure, why not call the police? Hmm? Stay away from me. Amanda, the life. Stay away from me, Jason! <laughs> Thank you so much, officers. Thank you for your prompt intervention. Probably if you hadn't come on time, maybe I'd have been a dead woman. You're welcome. We're always there for you people. Anytime, any day, just put call across and we'll be there for you. Thank you so much. So yeah. thank you for coming immediately. I called you. If not, my friend here would have been a dead woman. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so anytime, any day. You know, well, this is your friend, man. Well, this is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, thank you so much. So, You're welcome, shit. darling. <laughs> okay, officers, we'll be on our way. Yeah. So, were you able to talk to the people at the movies? Well, we just verified that you were at the movie and some of the fire. And your neighbors also confirmed the time. What, sir? I didn't touch that night. I didn't touch it. We know. Your husband friend is the only one at it. But he still insisted that you know about his affairs. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I swear to you, I don't know anything about his affair. You know, my husband, he... He completely changed. He's not the man I used to know. He... He started acting crazy. So, so different. I, I don't know what, what got into him. I don't know. Oh, well, the indictment was just handed down. Your husband will be facing attempted murder. Okay, so, does it mean he will be in jail to the trial? Well, we don't deny granting him bail. Okay. But you don't have to be afraid. Don't worry. Well, what if he is he's not convicted? He'll be convicted. Because the officers witnessed the act and they went to your own testimony. Okay. You will be facing some tense. Definitely, it's one of the faces of God. There's no doubt about that. To the side. Yes, sir. Well, madam, you can see for yourself. He has called him for it. I told you he would be joy. Sir, I don't know how to thank you. Thank you so much. You know, my husband wanted it all. 
But now, it has nothing. And that serves him right.